right guys uh, it's set day here in Iowa we've been sitting at this first spot about 40 minutes now um, a little anxious to get going here this morning to say the least we got a lot of stuff pre-staked I didn't do any filming on any pre-staking um, but we got a lot of stuff in so hopefully it's gonna be a heck of a season and looking forward to bringing you guys with me got my dog proof right there trail going up over the culvert there um, we got a bunch of rain the last couple days, so everything's up a little bit water-wise, uh, which is good. We needed it, so we're just waiting for 8 o'clock now. You guys get to wait anxiously with me. Sit here and wait. I'll be running my new truck this year, too, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, long box diesel truck. Hopefully it can fit a lot more coon in it. So, yeah, guys, got a lot of stuff done um, before today and more traps in the ground than I've ever had before, um, that's for sure. So, looking forward to today. We switched up our strategy a little bit for this season, you guys will see. Uh, we're doing stuff a little bit differently, so I think it's going to be more efficient in the long run, uh, but there's only one way to find out. So, 7.59. Eight o'clock. It's go time, guys. With this dog proof set here, like so. Get it baited. We are out of here. All right, guys. Uh, we're cooking right along here. Um, see a beat down coon path going along the bank here. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Got four fish sticks down here. I gotta get my traps. Now this is what we're doing different, guys. A lot more fish sticks this year. So, I'm trying to set them fairly heavy. I can get my other one. Fairly heavy so we can kill the majority in a couple days and pull these and get out of here. Put my chunk of fish on there. Over to my next contestant here. Fish on there. Got my traps. Now uh, these are Duke Double Jaws, guys. Uh, most of these are brand new this year, actually. I really like them. Haven't caught anything with them yet, though, so we'll see how they hold up. There's two. Just a chunk of carp going on there. Reaching down, grabbing my split ring. Get my chains untangled here. My trap set, there we go. Okay, that trap placed there. Running a lot of these fish sticks this year. Um, I really like them a lot, actually. Had a lot of success with them the last, last year, so. Here's the last one here. Beat down coon trail going along the bank. Get all this debris off of there. That rain's really covered up my traps with quite a bit of debris. So getting them cleaned off is taking a little more time than I certainly like it to. That's all right. I think we're through 70 or 80 locations now. There we go. We're out of here. All right, guys, we're chugging right along here. Um, narrowing in on halfway done anyways. I'm getting close to noon. But we're chugging. Starting to get a little stiff, boys and girls. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's what we live for. Got a nice trail going up to corn here from Timber. This DP filled up. We'll get out of here. Heading down to one of my favorite spots. It looks like both my DPs are knocked over. It's a good sign. Sign we got some activity at least. If I can not catch my glove. That one there. Put this one. Put this one. Ooh, my trigger's kind of bent. Put that one up over there. Uh, this trail kind of wise off here. They kind of go both directions. So I just set one in each of them. And normally it's good for a couple doubles. 
So we'll get down the road. Heading down to another one here. Um, if you guys haven't noticed yet, it's all DPs this year. DPs and fish sticks. Not running any 220s. I got a theory that I think those 220s are, although they're great and awesome, I think they're slowing me down. So a lot of DPs and we're going fast. All right, guys. I just got done losing my mind over the county closing a bridge right in the middle of my line there. I don't know why they got to do that in November. Because I know when I pre-staked that, there was no signs it was going to be closed. Nothing. But by golly, they're going to rip her out now. Um, it's going to negate about 20 of my locations. So that stings. But for now, I'll set these dogs through and keep moving. All righty. Under a bridge here. That was bone dry. Now it's not. A pair of DPs down here will get set. Now oh, they're really hugging this bridge wall along here. So I've got to kind of almost bury my pogo back up. I don't know why they always dig at that. But they do. There we go. Got more of those set. Got about 80 more locations. All right, guys, setting a couple more fish sticks here. I'm already set to. I got four in most places, um, most bridges anyways, I got four. Try and kill them in a couple days and pull them and get out of here. Let's see. It's pretty crazy, I'll be honest with you guys. We uh, had a ton of flooding this spring that made a mess. Didn't get hardly rain since then. And now it seems like we're getting all the rain again. Uh, not necessarily today, but tonight into tomorrow, we got some coming. So we'll see what that does. Be prepared for some muddy coons tomorrow. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. So we'll get out of here. All right, we're on one of my pretty good timber to timber stretches now. Dog proofs knocked over. Um, that's a crazy thing, guys. A lot of these dog proofs, I'd say we're at 70 or 80% of them today are knocked over and I always put them sitting up vertical in the trails when I pre-stake them so pretty crazy we'll get down the road all righty starting to wind out the day got one DP here oh we got two on this trail actually I don't set a whole lot of doubles um kind of just part of the way I I go I like setting singles and staying longer personally this one's knocked over here this baby set Bait it up. We'll get down the road. Got us another dynamite trail here. For some reason, there's a traffic cone in it. That's all right. We get one dog proof set. Got a car rolling by. Hopefully, they don't stop. Good. We didn't. Another dog proof here. We're just about done, guys. Uh, Got about 25, 30 spots left, so we're pushing. It's been a long day. All righty, coming down here. We don't have much longer to go. Um, I'm exhausted. That's all right. It's actually starting to be a light rain. And boy, there really ain't much better than that as far as cool movement goes. So, well, this. I'll try and get it to where you guys aren't staring at weeds, but might be challenging here. I got a double set in here. This is a timber to timber culvert. It's good for eight or 10 tune every year. So it gets a double. We'll get down the road. Last stop of the day. Looks like we might have some mink tracks coming through here too, actually. Uh, got our fish sticks in here. I thought I had three. Maybe I just put two. Looks like just two anyway. And this sinky, sinky mud. I'll grab my chunk of carp there. Taking it easy on the last one. Uh, it's about five o'clock. Uh, it sure seems like my theory of cutting out the 220s has sped me up quite a bit. Uh, we'll see how the check goes tomorrow, but as far as I know, we set more traps today than we did last year 
and we're done an hour earlier. So that to me is a good thing. And I didn't run and get in shape or anything, so it has nothing to do with my physical condition. That much I can assure you. Walk through this old culvert here. Get our chunk, there's a chunk of drum there actually. See if I can find both my traps. Get that set. Guys, essentially what I'm doing is putting them out at a V. Um, that's all I'm doing. I'd highly recommend, if you can in your area, to run some fish sticks. Uh, you can't use them everywhere though. You do have to check on that. Um, exposed bait deal and all. You have to check, but first line of 2024 is out. It's been a long day. I'm sorry this is probably going to be a shorter video, but I was moving. I was moving. Me and my buddy, I got helping me. We were cooking, and now I'm sinking in the mud. Sinking in the mud. There we go. Yeah, guys. Appreciate you following along here today. Um... Here's to a heck of a day tomorrow. We're hoping to break 200 coon tomorrow. Um, but we'll see what happens. We fell short last year. Do we get redemption this year? Have to watch tomorrow's video to find out. We'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching.